Alright, hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Shakira, but you guys will call me Sharky. Um, I actually forgot to film a real intro video with me in the final look um, because I'm super forgetful. So instead, I uh, used this video of me dancing with Olaf. So, um, yeah. So this is my first Halloween look of the month of October. Hopefully I'll have some more coming once I figure out what I actually want to do. But so today's look is going to be a skeleton look with some purple and gold. Obviously the colors are interchangeable. You don't have to use the colors or you can use different colors. But um, this is going to be a sped up voiceover video and I hope you guys enjoy it. And we're going to start the tutorial right about now. So I've already done my primer and my foundation. It's the same primer and foundation that I've used in the past couple of videos. And so right here what I'm doing is I'm taking a lip pencil in brown and I'm drawing out where I want the skeleton bone structure to be. Um, you can use any kind of pencil. Normally I would use white but I couldn't find my white pencil so I used the brown instead. It's still basically you just need anything that you can erase if you make a mistake. And if you see me looking over my shoulder, it's because I'm looking at reference pictures on my computer. So I actually have a skull pulled up on my computer. And I also have, if you've seen American Horror Story Season 1, um, I'm also looking at Tate's skull painting because I really liked it and that's kind of what inspired this look. So right here I'm just drawing out the area on my cheeks. I'm actually like pressing into my cheeks to try to draw where my bone structure actually is but I ended up not doing that because I didn't like the way it looked and you're gonna see me go back over that in a little bit um so yeah just uh, draw out where you want your stuff to be okay so here I just kind of turned off the camera and went ahead and drew out the bone structure because that's basically up to what you want to do and now I'm taking a black brow gel and a um, flat concealer brush don't use a brow gel um, use actual body paint because the brow, brow gel for one thing wasn't pigmented enough so I actually have to end up laying it later in the video like you can see my skin through it right now but also it gets really crusty and hard and it's a pain in the ass to wash off and it's just fucking shitty all the way through so yeah if you're gonna do this I would highly suggest using body paint like please for your safety and for the comfort of your skin use body paint so I'm gonna continue to fill in the areas that are supposed to be black or um, not have you know actual flesh I'm gonna go in with the brow pomade and paint all those areas black this doesn't have to be perfect because I am going to go back in later with a detail brush and actually make sure the lines are the way I want them. Right now this is just basically getting down a base layer so that everything after this will be a little bit easier to do. So I'm pretty sure all the brushes that I use come from the Morphe um, vegan brush set and I'm not saying you have to get the, Morgan, the Morphe vegan brush set but the brushes that are in it are kind of just normal generic get them from anywhere brushes so like I said this one that I'm using currently is a flat concealer brush so any concealer brush will do you can use a paint brush if you have that um, just it has to be flat and basically it needs to cover a good surface area of your skin but also should be kind of slim at the tip so if you need to you can do smaller detail work and I'm also leaving a little bit of space in those areas where I want to put the purple um, if you don't want to use purple, or rather if you don't want to use any color, you can just completely fill this in with black. Um, and I'm going to show you later how to go in and add more depth if you decide not to use the purple. Also, you're going to notice that this is really uneven. Like, one side looks really good, and then I turn my head and you're like, Shakira, what the fuck are you doing? Um, so yeah, you know, like I, like I like to say, nobody's perfect. You just, uh, see, see, that's when I noticed that it was uneven. Just kind of, just kind of go with what you're feeling. If you mess up, it's fine because you can take a makeup wipe and wipe it away. Also, this is why I let my hair cover this half of my face because then nobody could tell how much I fucked up. Just a little pro tip. I apologize if you guys could hear that. 
definitely if you couldn't, um, don't worry about it. And I'm also going to fill in my neck and my chest with the black. I'm wearing a shirt. Technically, I'm wearing a skirt, actually. I put a skirt over my upper half, like a strapless shirt, because I don't technically own strapless shirts. But uh, yeah, fun fact. Fill it all in with black far as back as you can go and I didn't actually do the back of my neck because this isn't going to be like an actual costume for me I was just doing it for the sake of the video but if you're going to legitimately use this as a costume you should probably do the back of your neck too or if you're not going to have this much of your skin exposed then don't there it is with the makeup wipe again you're going to see that makeup wipe a lot because I'm going to make a lot of mistakes in this video and I decided to leave them in just so it was more real and you guys knew that I didn't just come out perfect on the first try. Honestly, when I first started doing this, I thought it was going to be shit. Also, I'm going to be doing a lot of singing. Just ignore that, too. If this was a costume that I was actually going to do, like, in real life, I would also shave my head, the part that's already really short. I would shave that and paint that, too. But, like I said, this is just for the sake of this video. So, uh, but if you want to shave your head, do it. Probably be a lot creepier. I walked in the gas station with this look on. Because I didn't have time to wash it off. And I wanted a snack. I scared the cashier. There was a cop in there, too. Pretty sure she thought I was going to fucking... Rob everybody. But, you know, this is, this is October. This is Halloween month what I do. Everybody should do it. Here I am going back in with the um, eyebrow gel again to get a second layer to make it a little bit more black. Okay, so now I'm going to take a gel eyeliner and a small detail brush. So basically any brush that will allow you to get very detailed, that's what you can use. And I'm going to go in and draw in um, some lines to make the look more realistic, I guess. Um, or these are there to make me look angry so I don't have to constantly frown. to go back over them several times because I kept fucking up. Also gonna draw in the um, teeth details. Um, my best advice when you're drawing in the teeth is to start from the line and draw outward so that the line gets thinner as you get further away from it that makes it look more realistic. Some of the lines that I drew are kind of thick. But it's fine. It all worked out. Mm -hmm. 
I'm also going to make the lines more defined around certain areas. Honestly, I don't know why I did this because later I just went in and blended that part out. So. And then here I'm drawing lines around certain parts of the uh, bone structure just to make it look, once again, more realistic, add a little bit more detail. My best advice for this is draw the product on lightly and then once you get what you want or the desired shape that you want, you can go back in and draw it a little bit thicker if you want to. Here I'm going to take a uh, little fluffy brush, it's a blending brush, also in the vegan set, and I'm basically just going to go into those areas where I added details and I'm going to blend them out um, to add some shadows and some depth. And I'm going to take my ColourPop Swerve liner and put that in my waterline to make sure there's no skin showing. And I'm also going to um, coat my lashes in mascara. At this point, it's basically making sure that all the areas that are black are actually black, or should be black, are actually black. And I'm going to take the same eyeliner and that same little detail brush and just go in and do my neck. And I fucked up on this really fucking hard. Um, like it's going at an angle and the bones are just not the right shape but I figured if I spent too much time messing with it I'd probably have an anxiety attack and you know that's not something I need in my life so I just kinda didn't honestly you don't even need the neck if your face looks cool enough but I figured why not just do it why not Also drawing in your collarbones while your actual collarbone is moving is very difficult. But don't let anybody tell you that you need perfectly symmetrical collarbones because you don't. They don't have to be even. They don't have to be any of that stuff. Now I'm taking that little blending brush again and going back and adding some shadows to the neck too. And I'm going to take the concealer brush from earlier and just continue to use the eyeliner to fill in those areas and make them more black. If you are using body paint, which I highly suggest you do, you probably won't have to do this unless your body paint just isn't that pigmented. And if you're looking for really pigmented body paint, I would suggest um, Ben Nye's body paint. It's very good quality. It lasts a long time. A little goes a long way and it's super pigmented. Also as you can see the eyeliner is really shiny and I don't like that. Like I like it when I'm using it as liner but obviously if I'm using it as body paint I want it to be matte. Ben Nye's body paints usually dry down to matte so I would definitely look into those if you're planning on doing anything that involves body paint for Halloween.
So right here my camera actually died and I had to charge it. So while I was gone I basically just went in and filled everything in with more black and whatnot. So now I'm going to take my Morphe 35D palette and I'm going to take the darkest purple shade and I kind of went on my um, brow to see if it would actually show up on the black paint or black eyeliner but it didn't. So I just went into those spaces that didn't have any black paint and filled those in. What I was trying to do is basically um, add depth by using a color other than black. I was also just trying to add a pop of color. So I'm going to fill in all those spaces with that dark purple from the 35D palette. And I don't think this is the right brush to use. It was a fluffy brush, so the color kind of didn't go on as pigmented as I wanted it to. But it, and it worked in the long run. And now I'm going to take the 35F palette and go in with that gold shade. And I'm going to put that in all the places where I drew those detail lines. I'm, I was kind of winging it at this point. I didn't really know. I knew I wanted to use purple and gold, but I didn't know where I wanted to put it. So I was just kind of just, just doing things. I will say though, this looks really good at night. If you use a color with high shine and high shimmer, I'm going to insert a picture at the very end because um, I took some pictures with my skeleton jumper on and it really added a good pop to certain places on my face. And then here I'm taking the gold and putting it, I don't know what I'm doing, just, you don't have to do this. If you want to do it, that's fine, but you don't have to do it. I just thought it would look cool. Also adding it to my forehead. And I'm using a different concealer brush. I'm pretty sure this is a smaller version of the one I was using earlier. Basically you just need something that can pack on the pigment really easily. I'm also going to add it to my neck. And I'm going to go back to the 35D and I'm going to take the purple with the most shimmer in it. And I'm going to put that over the places where I put the matte purple. And also I'm going to put that on the eye holes. Basically because the eye holes actually picked up the shimmer but not the matte. I mean obviously it's kind of hard to do pigmented colors on a black canvas. And then I was thinking about this later after the fact. I should have done the purple like all around my eyes and then added the depth of the black on the perimeter. But, you know, you live, you learn, you move on. So I'm just going to add that purple all over the areas where I put the mat. Once again, I didn't have an actual plan. I was just kind of putting colors in places. So if you have a plan that works better than this, do it. So I'm continuing with uh, purple shimmer. getting really excited because I think it looks better than I thought it was and now I'm gonna take black eyeshadow and a little fluffy brush and I'm gonna go over all the places where there's still black eyeliner and I'm trying to mattify and also add a little bit more shadow and depth the more I look at this the more it reminds me of Mardi Gras because Mardi Gras colors are purple green and um, orange or gold so if you're ever going to Mardi Gras and you Want a makeup idea? Here you go. I'm also starting to go in closer to the edges and blend the black into the purple just so it looks like the skin tone, what is supposed to be bone area, is popping out a little bit more. 
and honestly looked better in person. Like on camera it looks alright, but while I was looking at it in person I was like, yeah, this is pretty fucking legit. This took me three hours to film because my camera wanted to die a bunch and also because yeah, basically because my camera was dying a bunch. Hopefully the looks I do in the future won't take that long. I mean, my actual Halloween costume is going to take four hours, so. It's just because I like to go big or go home. That's what I'll say about that. Okay, I'm going into the 35F palette and I'm taking an even brighter gold shade. It's darker and brighter. And I'm going back over the gold that I put on before to, once again, add depth and to layer a little bit more. Now I'm taking that small detail brush again and the same eyeliner and I'm going back over those places where I added detail lines because the gold kind of fell over them. And now I'm going to take another little detail brush and just blend out the black for more depth, more shadows, as I've been saying this whole fucking video. Um, so my camera actually died right after I filmed this. So, yeah. That was cool, I guess. Alright guys, so this is the final look. So, since my camera died, I didn't get to film what I did to my lips, but on my top lip, I have Milani's Materialistic, and then I, on top of it, I put some Gold Shimmer, and on my bottom lip, I have ColourPop's Guess and Bedazzled. I'll include everything in the description box so that you can find it if you want to look it up. Um, so yeah, this is the final look. I didn't get to film a goodbye video either because, like I said, I'm very forgetful. So after this clip, I'm going to include um, some pictures so that you can see what it looks like at night and also what it looks like in brighter light. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you do decide that you want to do this look, please tag me on social media. Um, I'll leave all my social media in the description box also because I'd love to see what you guys end up doing. Um, like I said, I hopefully will have some more Halloween tutorials coming in the next coming weeks so um like subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw and hopefully i'll see you around bye guys